Salutations. Welcome to Strategy and Analysis Center. Today's briefing, China's Marine Corps, the PLA's Swiss Army Knife. Beginning around 2017, the PLA Navy Marine Corps began an expansion, converting existing Marine Brigades into combined arms formations, and the transfer of some ground force units to form new Marine Combined Arms Brigades. This has transformed a force of two brigades to one of six maneuver brigades, a special operations force brigade, and an aviation brigade. This briefing will examine the Navy's Marine Combat Battalions, most of which are combined arms. These units represent the core maneuver elements of the Marine Corps, and likely the first units used in an overseas contingency. If I can ask at some stage during the briefing to hit the like button, it really helps the channel to get to a wider audience, and also to hit the bell icon so you can receive notifications. Starting with the Marine Corps structure. In the PLA, the Marine Corps is a group army level formation, broadly equivalent to a Western Corps with six maneuver brigades. Each brigade has four battalions with a mix of heavy, medium, light, and or air assault formations with the composition likely to vary between brigades. Starting with the heavy combined arms battalion. The fighting element is equipped with the ZTD-05 assault guns and ZBD-05 infantry fighting vehicles. These are the same vehicles that equip the ground force amphibious combined arms battalion. The ZTD-05 equips the assault gun companies with 14 vehicles in each company. Armed with a 105mm rifle gun capable of firing APFSDS rounds effectively out to 2000 metres, high explosive out to 4000 metres and a 105mm anti-tank laser guided missile up to 5000 metres. The ZTD-05 weighs around 28 tonnes. The ZBD-05s equip the mechanised infantry companies, again with 14 vehicles in each company. Armed with a 30mm gun, a range of up to 2,000 metres effective against land targets and 4,000 metres against air targets, and two HJ-73 anti-tank guided missiles with a range of out to 3,000 metres. Each carries a complete Marine infantry section of seven to eight troops. The ZBD-05 forms the basis of a family of AFVs used throughout the battalion, significantly simplifying training and logistics support. The Marine's Heavy Combined Arm Battalion appears to have the same structure as the Ground Forces Amphibious Combined Arms Battalion, see my previous briefing link below, and is likely employed either as an initial landing force closely followed by Ground Force Brigades in heavily opposed landings, or as the main force for less heavily opposed landings. A Marine Battalion with similar firepower but different mobility is the Medium Combined Arms Battalion. The Marines Medium Combined Arms Battalion is based around the ZTL-11 and ZBL-08. The ZTL-11 equips the assault gun companies and has the same firepower as the ZTD-05, but on a wheeled chassis. Each assault gun company has 14 ZTL-11s. The ZTL-11 weighs around 23 tonnes. For comparison, the Italian Centauro weighs around 24 tonnes and the US MGS around 18 tonnes. The ZBL-08 equips the mechanised infantry companies and has the same firepower as the ZBD-05 mentioned earlier, but on a wheeled chassis. Each mechanised infantry company has 14 ZBL-08s. The ZBL-08 weighs around 21 tonnes and carries seven to eight dismountable infantry. Again, as with the ZBD-05 family and the heavy combined arms battalions, the ZBL-08 forms the basis of a family of AFEs used throughout the battalion, significantly simplifying training and logistics support, and with all being amphibious. Now, there are various versions of in this family, including combat engineer and breaching vehicles, a reconnaissance vehicle with telescopic mast with ground surveillance radar and electro-optical sights, and an armoured recovery vehicle. 
The Marines' medium combined arms battalion may have the same structure as the ground forces' medium combined arms battalion, with two assault gun companies and two mechanised infantry companies. Or perhaps, and more likely, one assault gun company and three mechanised infantry companies. The main difference between the Marines' heavy and medium battalions is amphibious speed, with the heavy battalion vehicles being roughly twice as fast in the water compared to the medium battalion. The Marines also appear to have a light combined arms battalion, likely based on the CSK-131, 141 and 181 family of vehicles. However, in place of an assault gun company, the, the light battalion has a fires company, which includes self-propelled 82mm mortars in the form of the PCP-001, which was covered in the high mobility light combined arms briefing uh, see below. The structure of the Marines light combined arms battalion is likely very similar to that of the ground forces high mobility light combined arms battalion. Although not amphibious, its organic vehicles provide some protection and are light enough to be airlifted or brought ashore in greater numbers by air cushion vehicles and landing craft. The final type of manoeuvre battalion in the Marines is the Air Assault Battalion, a lighter formation than the Light Combined Arms Battalion with no organic armoured vehicles. Unlike other battalions in the Marines, this is not a combined arms battalion. Structured as a typical light infantry battalion with three infantry companies, a weapons or fires company, and a support company. Instead of assault guns, the battalion receives direct fire support from attack helicopters attached from the Marine Aviation Brigade. With no organic armoured vehicles, it utilises transport helicopters and utility helicopters from the Marine Aviation Brigade for air mobility, rigid hull inflatable boats for sea mobility, and Lynx 8x8 vehicles for ground mobility, and primarily for crew serve weapons and large sensors. Given these battalion options and the primary operational areas for the various Marine Brigades, it is likely that the 5th and 6th Brigades have at least one heavy, one light and one air assault battalion in each brigade. The 3rd and 4th Brigades, at least two heavy and one air assault battalion, and the 1st and 2nd Brigades, at least one heavy and one air assault battalion. The PLAN's Marine battalions cover a wide spectrum of force capabilities, including heavy attract formations, equivalent to the ground forces amphibious combined arms battalions, mechanized formations, similar to the ground forces medium combined arms battalions, lighter formations, likely the same as the ground forces high mobility light combined arms battalions, and air assault battalions, probably similar to the PLA Air Force's airborne battalions. Importantly, the target landing zone terrain will influence whether the tracked, wheeled or helicopter-borne forces lead the assault. This variety of forces and scalability of response options provides PLA commanders with a great deal of flexibility in allocating the correct capability to meet mission needs. That concludes today's briefing. Thank you for watching. Happy to take suggestions for future briefings from subscribers, so please subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, Fale de Cere.